Okay then. Uh, we live? Did I bring the preview up too late to hear that? Did I bring the There we go. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh in our last episode, we were just adding a bunch of solar to this planet before we leave again. We've brought our very simple core mining kit, and we're going to be sending the core fragments back to Narvis, dealing with them over there. What is this train doing? Uh, what? That's a little bit odd. Why is it trying to pick up... Why is it taking erudite core fragments? Oh, I see the problem. The, uh, the station has the correct request, but the incorrect name. That's fine. We'll deal with that when we get back. Um, anyway, we've brought our simple core mining kit over here. It does require quite a bunch of power just to keep everything running. We've got a little circuit here saying the accumulator charge has to be full. Uh, otherwise, we're going to block the belts so that we stop core mining. That way we're definitely not going to have any issues getting through the night and keeping the media defense installations running. Um, we've still got a bunch of solar panels to drop off. And plenty of battery power right now, so let's do some of that. Looks like we've run out of accumulators for now, but I think we should have some back here still. About 300 in total or less. Uh, where do I even put more flat solar panels? Up here. And let's grab our spider. Uh, here. I think we've actually placed most of these flat solar panels. Or at least the ones I've laid out here. We mostly need the accumulators. Does our spider have cliff explosives? Yes. Let's do another row here. Hey, Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whimsical Builds, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. I should probably just give the spider these flat solar panels. And I'm going to run off to pick up some more accumulators. And we'll have the spider do its thing over here. How did you like DSP so far? Yeah, quite good actually. Uh, I think I'll make it a regular thing on the channel. I might do some playing offline with it as well though. Like... Uh, like laying the groundwork to make that main bus base. A Carenza. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. Um, since I've been sick... Thank you for the yay. Uh, since I've been sick one thing after another lately with probably COVID and then the booster. Um, 
I hadn't got any exercise in a little while, and I kind of overdid it today. Whoops. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed to admit that that's why the stream's starting a bit later today. Um, just goes to show, don't let it slip if you can help it. Still got battery power, good. I feel you, lol. Yeah. I'm guessing quite a lot of people who uh, don't consider going to the gym particularly safe these days uh, have fallen behind a little bit. All right, let's see. One more accumulator. And the bots back here. How's our rate? Yeah, we're getting almost no accumulator production consistently. Uh, there's no battery production happening because there's no copper happening. Because there's way too much iridite everywhere. And the whole core mining system has stopped. Maybe I could... What do we need here? Water... Sulfuric acid, cryonite rod... I think we've still got this set up to bring us cryonite. Plastic requires coal. Can I and should I bother to get this moving again for a while, or should I just stop here? I think we'll just finish up here, place all the flat solar panels, and how many are left? 183. It's more than I was expecting. Um, I wonder if... I can definitely fit 16. If I make a repeating pattern like this... We're going to end up with the same amount of gap. I'll just... We're, we're not going to end up placing these accumulators, but... I'll just put it like that for now. Snap to grid, relative... And... Oh. How many is this? 384. That should do it. And Spooder. Do your thing. I guess we don't really need to hang around for this part. I can just go back to Nalvis and do the rest of that remotely. Uh, so... Anything else I want to do while we're here? Don't think so. Uh, I think we set up a system to... Yep, there it is. That's a lot of ammo. That's working. Fantastic. Now this landing pad. Anything I want to leave or take back? Don't really think so. Okay, I don't know what these are doing here. Oh, I'll take the modules. I... No, nah, let's leave them. Turn off the personal logistics. All right into the rocket and please tell me I'm not forgetting something 
give you one more order. And away. Am I in the rocket? Yes. Away we go. Now that we've got a construction spider here, I can probably get just about anything done remotely if I really need to. And back we go. Of course. Oh no. Oh my goodness. What? Uh... Okay. Did anything break? I don't think so. Yeah, we didn't lose any actual buildings here, so I guess it's not like I should design the cargo landing pads to be away from everything else. Even so, that's supposed to be really, really improbable, and it's happened twice already. F? F indeed. The crazy bacon here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't think I need to be carrying that many accumulators, do I? 500. No, thank you. And what was next? We need to do a... I think I will start... Yeah, I've done most of the work for it remotely. We just need to finish up uh, this build over here for uh, the core fragments that we just set up. Mush, little spidey, mush. Unfortunately, we can't make it go any faster until we get higher... I assume we can get... No? Can we not get higher tech exoskeletons? For all the massive, massive amounts of research you can do, I am going to be a little disappointed if tier 1 exoskeleton is as good as that gets. Uh, let's grab our military, and continue making the world safe for exploitation. It will be nice when we can eventually... Well, I guess there's no point in actually bothering to dismantle the walls, but to not have to worry about them anymore would be nice. I think I was supposed to manually request some more pulverizers, or pick them up. Whoops. When is trains in space? Uh, relatively soon. We've got... Uh, we've got our main bus base here all planned out. Once we get that, it's going to be pretty easy. In fact, if I'd noticed, I wouldn't have built the main bus base here. I would have cheesed. Uh, just... It's only 50 packs of energy science pack 1 that we need to make that happen. So, I could have skipped that main bus base entirely, but... At least it will give us the infrastructure to have a bunch of stuff to pick up from the rail system down here. Not to mention a decent throughput for the basic sciences. Uh, but for now, we need to get our iridite flowing. And we're also waiting on loading lots and lots of belt over here. 
28k. And we're looking for 44k. What's missing to finish the space base? Uh, mostly belts. Oh, we also set up... I wonder if it's jammed by now. We're missing gun turrets. I thought I set that up. Don't tell me I set that up except for the output. Oh no. Alright. Um... Yeah, uh, we've set up a system here using crafting combinators and a memory cell with a list of what we've got left to craft uh, to support our our big main bus base. And it's already made quite a few things. Um, actually, now that I think of it, I wish I'd put a memory cell here to tell us exactly what's been built already, because I made this a active provider so it wouldn't jam. But this is the original list of the things that we're looking to craft. Um, this is going to be a much larger number, I just wanted to get that working first. Uh, but yeah, little things that are missing from the logistic network here. I knew it would get jammed on something I'd forget sooner or later, but I'm a little embarrassed I made the automation for turrets and then forgot to put it in a chest. Whatever the case, we're going to need 10 times... We're going to need 350 gun turrets to get this done. That's more than I was expecting, but it'll get done eventually. Spiders, keep doing your thing. And over here, please. Did we bring enough pulverizers this time? I don't think so. Unfortunate. Can I make some? I can make six. That's nowhere near enough. All right. Uh, first of all, we need to set up the... Belts for this. Without messing up the LTN stuff. And then... On this side as well. Now, why does this ha not have a path? Are we missing a signal? We're missing a little bit of rail. Also, I don't know why this signal doesn't have... Did I make that mistake up here as well? No. Must just be a quirk of where I copy-pasted earlier. Train should be on its way now. Fantastic. And... This should have a signal as well. Once the train gets here, I'm going to change the name of this stop. Cool. That should be... Erudite Core Fragment. And this one goes here. Don't forget to change these filters. Uh, also, that should be connected. Where are my spiders? And don't forget the red wire. Nice. And 
I need to change the station name down here. Oh no. I also need to change this filter. Should have thought of that first. Wait, what? Oh, that's erudite, not fragment. Uh, erudite. There we go. Alright. It's not too much of it. We could probably just pick it up manually from there. Uh, we also need to fix this belt. Actually, how many... How many of these pulverizers are you requesting? Five each. And we need, like... I think if I just send them back... Why do you not have belts? You do have belts. Why are you not building this? Silly spiders. Go build that. And then... Go back to base and bring back pulverizers, please. I'll have him do a little circle here. Should give the bots more than enough time to load the pulverizers in. And back to here, and hopefully that build is done. Alright, I'm not seeing any more erudite. On this side. I think it's all going to my trash slots. It's fine. Whoops. Okay, is that all of them? Fantastic, that wasn't too hard. Erudite goes here. Uh, I think we need to speed these up a bit. We definitely need to speed these up a bit. Uh... I still haven't thought of a solution to this. Um, oh, now it's going a lot faster. Still not that good. Uh, we could allow them all to go a bit ahead of the average. That's wrong. Uh, less than or equal to 100. So each of these can be a hundred ahead of the average, and they'll still keep going at full speed. That seems to be working. That wasn't that difficult, actually. These ones are all significantly ahead. because of the setting I had them on a moment ago. Okay. It'll take a little while before the ones up the front decide to switch off. I think I just saw a flicker of red light there. Nope. What's the average? 505, so you need to get to 600 and something before you're gonna stop. 
And we just ran out of erudite figures. There's another train coming. Spiders are on their way back. Oh, there's that red light. So it'll be reasonably balanced and much faster to load. Can you show your initial base? Sure. Uh, Majagus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dark sky full of stars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, why are the bots so slow? Because... Because we don't have energy science yet. Simple as that. That's our next goal. Well, that's, like, one of the main things we're building this base for. Uh, so initial base, like, initial initial base, is this little spaghetti mess right here. Um, I did try to keep it organized, but we had to keep it small because of pressure from the biters. And... Of course, not knowing the production chains uh, to begin with, like how inserters are significantly different. Um, figuring it out as you go. And under pressure to keep it small. Uh, this is sort of what you end up with. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, your typical somewhat spaghettified starter base. Going all the way up to Blue Science. Uh, and then we've got a main bus base up here, which is significantly better organized, but still lots of room for improvement. So when removing the starter base completely... No, the starter base belongs in a museum, right? Look at it. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know, though. Maybe if it gets in the way. Did we finish building? Almost. Just one to go. And once that's built, let's double check the rate that we've got set up here. And prods. 216 core fragments of iridite per second is what's being consumed. That's a little bit more than four blue belts. And a little bit less than four blue belts of iridite would be coming out if it was going at full speed. That'll be sufficient for a while, I think. Uh, next we need a block to deal with the iridite. I wonder how similar it's going to be um, to vulcanite or cryonite, for example. Well, let's find out. Rail block. Go. And this is going to go here. And this one. Would you say that those blocks are helping you keep the base neat? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I like to do neat builds, but as you can see sometimes, it doesn't really work out as planned. Uh, but when you have these lovely, perfectly square rail blocks, and everything you do, like, you know, they're split up into modules that are very sort of self-contained to do one or a few things, um, you sort of can't help but make a relatively neat base doing it that way.
easy to duplicate. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so this goes here, which means this goes here. And no doubt we're going to need more pulverizers. Crushed iridite is step one. Very straightforward. Um, washed iridite. Looking very similar so far. Oh, I already did this on the desert planet. And then we need these anion ion exchange beads, which require plastic, cryonite rod, sulfuric acid, and steam. Everything except for the steam we can get directly from the rail network. Plastic and cryonite rod. There's nowhere else that we're going to need either of those, so we'll bring them on one station. Sulfuric acid. How about we do all of that here? Actually, I wonder if... If we do chests on just one side, we're going to get a station that takes twice as long to unload. But I wonder if... If we limit these to four chests each, we could get kind of a compromise that's relatively fast. Uh, there it is, plastic. Cryonite rod. And then... I don't think I'm going to end up liking this, especially because there's not going to be room to do it on this side. I think the consumption rate was quite slow for the plastic cryonite. Let's see, one of these is 0.2 per second, even with the speed beacon. So yeah, I guess we'll just not worry about how long it's going to take to unload the train because one trip is going to last quite a while. So we'll do the sulfuric acid like so. Um, and I guess we'll do water over this side. And then... One, two, three. Read book contents hold. Read hand contents hold. Uh, enable disable. This side's going to be plastic equals zero. And this side's going to be cryonite rod equals zero. Copy paste across there, connect those, and then. So that's our cryonite rods and plastic. And sulfuric acid up here. Let's grab a standard drop off. Let's see. Plastic, cryonite, and sulfuric acid. Requester. We're going to need to tell LTN what we've got. Oops. Substation wouldn't go astray.
Wait. Oh, was this bot trying to catch up? Was this the bot that was sent to build that one thing before? I bet it was. Alright then. Uh, we need to connect all of these. And then... This goes over here. So LTN is going to know what's at this station already. And then we just need to make some requests. Plastic. We'll just do one train load, I think. Should last quite a while. Uh, cryonite. And sulfuric acid. Since we're mixing fluids and physical objects, uh, request stack threshold won't do. We'll use just a request threshold instead. And that should be that. I don't know how the shape of this build is going to end up looking. Probably quite a lot like... Uh, like Holmanite, actually. What's your problem? No path. Can you get to the roundabout? No. I thought I fixed this already. Is there a lack of rail here? It doesn't... Oh, I see. This one. The train is allowed to go here, here, and then there's nothing here. So it thinks this is one way only. Spider bots to the rescue. How much sand do we have here already? 68,000. We actually got... Oh. Oh. 115,000 Holmanite plate already. That's... Seeing this jammed, that is the best possible news. Fantastic. And that includes... We've got 50k here as well. That did not take very long. Nice. Alright. I half expect we're going to end up copy-pasting this layout, to be honest. Um, maybe the ratio is going to be a bit different. So this is crushed iridite, and then washed iridite. Holmanite looks exactly the same. Uh, probably need to put a beacon in place. Give it some power. And that gives us a deficit of 2.4 crushed iridite per second. Did I miss something or are they different? 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. It, it seems they are a little bit different. Uh, let's see. Iridite takes one second, this takes one second, two in, one out. So that's the same. Washed Holmanite. 
Two in, two out, plus random stone, two water, one second. Two in, two out, a bit of stone, two water, one second. What have I missed? We've, we've got the same number of productivity modules. Hang on, there's something else going on here. Washed iridite plus 0.96. Oh, that's iridite. Whoops. Green holmanite. Crushed iridite. Four per second. This makes seven point two. Seven point two. Four per second. Crushed hormonite. Why is this different? What am I missing here? Crushed iridite. One for washing and one... Oh... Yeah, I see it. Four of these are powder. A dope. And these also require... Exchange beads. Alright, I think this is going to be the same build, just with different resources. Uh, yeah, 0.96 washed iridite, 0.72 crushed, minus 4 exchange beads. Yep, that's the same. Nice. Alright, so for the start of it, is there anything I really wanted to improve about this layout earlier? I'm quite happy with this part. Maybe just up the top, or... No, I think it's pretty good. We had a little trouble getting water where we wanted to, but... I don't think that's really a big deal. I've ended up putting the water and sulfur in opposite places this time. Which, looking at the layout now, I think that's going to be better anyway. Oh, that's right. We needed steam for this stuff. So either way, both fluids are going to have to come down here. Is it too late to... It is. Alright, what is going to have to be on this side? But other than that, I think we will copy what we've got here. All the way down to probably about there. Now, can I find where this belongs? Seems good. And I just need to change this from Holmanite to Iridite. That one's universal. Okay. 
crushed erudite, iridium powder. I think I've run out of chemical plants. Uh, washed erudite goes here. And then copy that across. Let's bring our construction spiders over. That reminds me, I wanted to upgrade their robopods. I've got 10 handy, let's do that for now. Actually, if I switch. If I steal from my uh, power armor, I can fix a couple of uh, three of them. Let's wait until the bots return to them first, though. Oops. That looks good. Gonna need a standard drop off. Change this to something that'll work with fluids. And it's just iridite, isn't it? Oh, iridite and water. Water. And turn this off. Don't forget to change the station name first. Erudite and water. Requester. This one's already correct. I hadn't actually connected this yet. And this goes here. Turn it on. Alright. I was about to say let's give you some better robo ports, but he went and did that instead. Hey Velda? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Tura, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think I forgot to say Kiron Kwiatkowski. Kiro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Alright, logistic... Ports. Roboports, rather. And I guess I could always fix one more of these while we're here. As soon as I go back to base, I'll um, update all of these spiders. Right, so this is going to be... This requires vulcanite blocks. That complicates things a little bit. Not too much. Since we've obviously got plenty of space to do some long arm inserters uh, to add the vulcanite block. The only issue is where do we bring it in from the rail? Um, unfortunately, the slot's already taken. One, two, three, four. Technically, we could do it here. 
Uh, it's a bit sacrilege to use the highway for that, though. I think we'll move these a little bit. And is it sand that we're getting as a sand and stone that we're getting as byproducts here? Yes. Okay, so we need onion. Oh, plastic does go into these. Uh, onion, iron exchange beads. It's exactly the same recipe except for cryonite rod instead of vulcanite. And this goes here. Um, steam. It's not going up there this time. What's this one? Steam. Actually, could that go a little bit higher? What's the... I think I'll just get rid of all these pipes and start over instead of getting confused by them. Um, for the most part. We need water going into here. Let's change that one a bit. Probably the neatest spot to do that. It's going to be here-ish. Can we not catch a break with how this lines up? Apparently not. Um, there's actually nowhere particularly good. I could move this over one tile so that we can fit undergrounds here. So we can have the pipe going up that way, I guess. I don't love having to do that, but... Oh, I... hold on. That might do it. And... pipe. And then pipe goes here. One off? Yeah. Very much so. Still, that's not too bad, I think. Um, we're going to need a single electric boiler. Is there any reason I shouldn't just bring the water through from there? What's the rate of steam over here? I think it was quite low. 16 per second, that's nothing. Okay. Nothing in terms of what the pipes can keep up with, that is. 100 water to 100 steam. It's one to one. A pipe can do 1200 per second. Max rate of water consumption for this whole thing is 160. Plus the steam. 16. Less than 200. Uh, so, I think the neatest place to do that is probably going to be something like this. And this is steam here. That's a bit close. Not too bad. And sulfuric acid, I think, connects over. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Connects over here. 
up this way, and we'll just connect that here. That's tragically short. Wait, why did I put that underground there? That makes sense. Alright, I guess we'll do it this way. And... Like so. A triple exposer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright then. And did I request water here? I did. Is that what we've got coming? It is not. Uh, why are you... Wait, what? This is supposed to be iridite. You are picking up iridite. This station is called Cryonite Pick... Up. Temporary stop down here. This is the culprit. Alright, so why can't you path there yet? Not accessible... Is it just a signal missing? Creakly, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so... It's a little bit of rail again. I could have sworn I keep being careful about that, but... I think it's just the shape of when I copy-paste the big block. Good morning. Good morning to you too. So once the train gets here, I'll change the name of that station. That's not our train, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It's picking up now. Oh, what just happened to the UPS? I think it was placing signals. It's not as bad as our other game got with placing signals, but that was definitely the culprit. Speaking of UPS, let's bump it up a little bit. Actually... Let me also do... Oh, we're already on high performance. Okay. Change the name. Uh, Iridite Pickup. And I'll save on a bit of confusion. And that should allow a train to come with water soon. I still need to figure out where to fit uh, Vulcanite blocks. I could... Let's see how the throughput is. It's only 3.8 Vulcanite blocks per second. Uh, so if I was so inclined, I could have Vulcanite blocks come in here. And... Then it's just a question of... Where's the neatest spot to slip them through here? Uh, I think we should probably just have like one belt for all of them. Let's suppose it came down this way. Oops. I don't love doing an underground through there, but it might be the most reasonable way to go about it. This is very slow as well. We could combine those belts. Um, we could also do it on this side. Same question remains of 
where's the least obtrusive spot to slip it through? On the other hand, if the layout is going to be anything like this, where we've got plenty of space left over and we can't really double this or anything, um, we may as well just have a train stop somewhere like here for the Vulcanite blocks. We're already doing this one again, right? I think that would be pretty reasonable. Uh, maybe not this again. We'll see. That's plastic. Oh, that's for a different... Yeah, we don't... We probably don't need that. Was that a cliff explosive? I didn't even see the cliff. Uh, so, pick those up. And then... Construction spooters. High priority pickup station. Seems good. Don't forget the signals this time. And obviously the rail. Whoa. Nope. Not like that. Amazing the difference a couple of pixels makes. That should do it. Um, I suppose since we're already using this, we could, we could have a station here for the Vulcanite blocks. That would actually be a pretty neat way to go about it. Might have to move these substations though. Or just not have as many chests. Nah, we'll just use medium poles for this if we have to. Do we have to? Kinda. I do want to keep those rails the same distance apart. And I do think having this belt come up here would be one of the neatest ways we can go about this. Uh, that needs to go back a little bit. Longarm goes here. And over here. One, two, three. Where is this going to fit? Like so, I think. That's not very good. That's okay, I guess. Those are the wrong way around. And so are all of these, actually. Rip. 
get the idea though. Let's copy this over. Oh, we're missing some long arms here. Uh, I guess this one will go this way. It's even neater, actually. This one is going to be the same. And this goes up here. And all that's left is to put in some undergrounds to tidy it. That's not where that goes. Let's just remove those for now. Um, it was this one, wasn't it? So this should go up a tile. As should this. All right, let's figure out where the undergrounds fit. That looks pretty neat. And maybe up here. It's not going to be really consistent with the rest of it. And it's quite short. Hey, big up. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's your goal for today? Uh, today I would really like to get the energy science started, if I can. Lock. Requester. Nice. I hope so. Um, that obviously goes here, and filter inserters, lock. It's overkill doing the 24 chests for these, but the lack of symmetry would destroy me. So we need some balanced unloaders this time. I guess we'll put this here for this time. And this has to be greater than or equal to zero, which represents the average. Oh. Wait, what? that to cross. Each times negative 24 divided rather. This goes in here, this goes up here. So we get the negative average of everything in the chests as a negative signal red wire gives it a positive signal of what we've actually got in each chest. They will be only on one side of the belt. That's fine. Um, I mean, we can balance it if we really want to, but the whole thing uses four per second. Uh, it would be nice if it was possible to fit on just one tile here something to put it on the opposite side of the belt. Or I could put a little belt balancer right here, I guess. But all it's going to do is put, um, put more stuff on the belt, which is fine, I suppose. Wait, can I? I don't think I can do this. If this is on that side of the belt, that won't work. If it was on the closer side... Oops. 
then this would go here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Or we could just find room to do that elsewhere. Like so. But yeah, I think that's kind of a waste of effort in this instance. I feel like this could look better. There we go. Nice. Alright, that just leaves power, which is looking a little bit unfortunate. I guess we need to use medium poles. Oh. And like so. I suppose I can live with that. Also, I never actually connected this wire here. So we've probably got the same error up at the uh, cryonite. No, not cryonite. A uh, hulmanite build. There it is. And then we just need to add a, a drop off. Block. Speaking of Vulcanite, uh, I wonder how many Vulcanite blocks we've got available by now. We did make... there it is. Let's add a tag. We did add something over here to deal with those at higher throughput. How many have we got? 2.5k. That suggests to me that a train has picked this up relatively recently. Uh, so it's probably going to be a little while before we see Vulcanite blocks brought over here. This one has... I actually have no idea. I haven't got a combinator to point at to tell me. Uh, let's see. Fourteen K Vulcanite blocks. All right, then. Now, this is actually correct. Iridium ingot. We need to turn those. Oh, we've already got the rest of the production block. We've got this massively oversized thing over here to deal with the ingots. And it's looking a bit... I, I was going to say it's looking a bit clogged with... If, if we had to deal with filtered outputs, but we don't. That's actually totally fine. Right then, so what are we waiting on? We've got everything except for vulcanite blocks. Again. Well, if that's all we're doing in this rail block, 
Then I guess all that's left to do here is add a train stop. Just going to be in the one direction. That looks right. Uh, ingot. Uh, provider. Some chests. inserters. What's our max rate of ingots here? Only 5.37 per second. One belt is more than enough. Go here. I feel like here is a little bit better. And balanced loader. Which we've got over here. Pretty sure that's universal. Don't forget the red wire. And a couple of subs. And... Stand pick up. Tell LTN what we've got. Default settings should be fine. Provide stack threshold, one train, long train. And that's it. So all that's left here is to get some Vulcanite blocks delivered so that we can see it actually working. Um, how long is that going to take? I'm not seeing any movement on Vulcanite at the moment. Vulcanite core fragments are at 14k. This train is still confused. Where are you trying to go? Huh? You've got a path to there. No stop is accessible from this position. But it is accessible. Are you trying to go to that one? Doesn't look like it. Did I miss a signal? It's this it's this stop over here, but that shouldn't be a up oh, there it is. This again. I should just start looking for that as the first possibility. when we see a train not going somewhere. Rail missing? Yes, indeed. And train should be now in motion. We've almost got... That was actually pretty good timing. We've almost got enough uh, Vulcanite core fragments to trigger a train coming to get this. How many Vulcanite blocks do we get from... I think I did the rough math on this earlier. So... I believe it's... 16 of these becomes 10 Vulcanite. Plus productivity modules. Plus 32%. Um... 
Oh, it's the other way around. 0.63 times 1.32. About 83%. 0.83 vulcanite per core fragment. And then... Another productivity bonus as it's turned into blocks. Where are we making the blocks again? Uh, there's actually lots of calculations to make here. Two Vulcanite becomes one crushed. And one washed. One washed becomes one block. So it's probably like 50% more than... So 40, 40 to 50%-ish, um, the number of Vulcanite core fragments to Vulcanite blocks that we get. So it actually takes... Probably two, give or take, trainloads of uh, Vulcanite core fragments before we get a trainload of Vulcanite blocks. That's actually worse than I expected. Um, I wish I could see the exact number without making a digital display. Whatever the case, uh, we should have some Vulcanite somewhat soon, but not soon enough to satisfy my desire to see this tested. So do we have Vulcanite blocks available for pickup somewhere? This is 10k. Let's temporarily change the threshold. And... We should see a train coming quite soon. Usually takes five seconds ish. I am not seeing. Oh, there it goes. It's going to a different station. I should have set this as a high priority. Wait, what is it doing? It is taking the Vulcanite blocks. Okay. We'll just have to hijack it. As soon as it's loaded. Alright. Stop in the name of the law. Uh, shift click adds that station. And wait for empty cargo. Wait, that's the wrong one. Go to this station, please. What? No. Widget. What? No, where did it go? It's, it's sending it all back into the depot somewhere. Where's the depot? I think I'm too late. Yep. Uh, we've still got like 2,000. Come over here. Wait for empty cargo. And then go back to the... Wait, what? This one. Wait for empty cargo. And then go back to depot. Where where is it? Is it here? It's not here. What What now? Where did Wait, what? No. 
You're kidding me. No. It went to the near... It did the vanilla thing. It went to that station. The closest version of that. Uh, it still went elsewhere. <laughs> yep. Right, we're stealing some Vulcanite blocks. Actually, maybe before the trash train. Nope. Okay, we're stealing the trash train. This is a robbery. It's nearly full. And stop, please. Okay. Uh, please stop here until empty cargo and then go back to base. Considering how slowly this thing consumes Vulcanite blocks, this should be more than enough to test it for a little while. And we're still waiting on Iridium Powder. What's happening? Washed Iridite. I have- it's because I haven't changed the inserter filters. Okay then. Um, this is already correct because it's generic. This has to become Axion Ion Beads and Washed Iridite. This has to become washed iridite. And these ones need to change holmium powder to iridite powder. And that needs. Damn it, I should have done that first. Gonna have to clean that up, I suspect. Alright, let's copy that first, and then these ones, and these ones. Wait, why is that? Oh, I see. Okay. Flippy flip. This goes here. And... That should be the same over there. And over here. And obviously just one side on this end. Also... This one? Is that all of the machines working? I see inserters moving everywhere. Almost forgot these ones. Fantastic. Alright, so everywhere we see inserters moving, that should be functional. Now I just have to figure out where that iridite powder went. Probably where the stone was supposed to go. Yep, there it is. Is that the end of it? We put some iridite in here, and this is designed to pick up one type of item. 
so it got confused. Also some in chest, yes indeed. Alright, so that should be working now. Um, I see about a third of our furnaces going. That would probably help. I feel like this is going to look a bit better, actually. Fantastic. Very satisfying seeing them light up after all of this. Right, so that's our Iridium ingots. Thank you. And we're already at a whopping 250. Considering they stack to, I believe, 20. Uh, we need 3,200 before a train will come for them. We're 10% of the way there already. Nice. Well, uh, just like with the... Hang on, let me make a tag here first. Iridium ingot... And up here is Holmanite ingot. Actually, it's Holmanite plate. Because it takes so very little to turn all of these ingots into what we need. Come to think of it, the same would probably be true for the plate. But I'm not going to bother deconstructing this. Um... Yeah, there's a bit of space left over, but other than that, this is fine. Alright, I'm going to take a very short break. Just get some water before my throat gives out. Make sure I just saved that. And I'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
Nope. Okay. How are you all doing? What do we got here? 1.6k. So we were... I don't think a train has been yet, has nope. it? We're halfway to a train coming? Unless? Nope. Okay. Um, we're not going to run out of iridite, right? Oh, we did. Uh, where's the rest of it? Four fragment iridite. That goes there. Um, how many iridite core fragments we got? Sixteen K. So a train is just about to come and pick these up. Uh, I believe that's it right there. Fantastic. More stack size would be nice, but uh, to get there we need Material Science Pack 2. We're almost there though, we've got 10 out of 12 stack size. I also need to do some rail blocks for regular signs. Um, technically we can do, we can use the old base for science, but once things really get moving, it's not going to be that good. I wonder if I should load more stuff over here. How many pipe to ground do we need for that blueprint? 2.1 thousand. And this is 2.5 thousand. About regular pipe. 1.9k, I think I've made that measurement before. Uh, we've already got enough undergrounds, I think. This is 2.6k. I don't know what's upstairs already. That's 2.4k. Um, so yeah, we're really just waiting on the regular space belt. Um, it may be worth... Since we can't use productivity modules on them, it may be worth sending that... Uh, production to space. We're just bottlenecking on lubricant at the moment. Might be worth... Where is this going? Sulfuric acid. What? Okay. That's putting sulfuric acid into the rail network? Uh, and it's empty anyway. I don't think we need that anymore. Is it even connected? It looks like it is, but all the sulfuric acid is going to batteries. Which, uh, feverishly getting consumed trying to make accumulators. Okay. 
we've obviously got much more sulfuric acid in the rail network. Uh, we don't need to be providing it to the rail network from the main bus base at this stage. So let's get rid of that. And all of this as well, please. I should probably just grab this blueprint, the construction planner rather. Being able to combine whitelist and blacklist on a deconstruction planner would be nice now that I think about it. Although it wouldn't be that often that it would be useful. Right, and that means we can get that part out of the way. And add some more of these. There's no speed module, that would probably help. I mean beacon. Speed beacon. That doesn't quite reach. I could move this over a bit. Uh, okay. What are the settings on this? Duplicate barrel less than 100. Uh, what? How did you get a lubricant barrel? Oh, I see. Uh... You know what? Be gone. And then... There we go. Speed... Beacon... Goes here... If I move all of these over one tile... We can add another one of these... And assuming we don't run out of heavy oil, which is going to take a while, um, that'll be enough. Can we get the prods in here, please? Thank you. That should... Well, how much will this make? 59 per second... This would require 84 per second to go at full speed. That's quite a bit, actually. I also remember this spaghetti belt of lubricant coming all the way over here. Don't know if we have a production area for... Oh, we do. Oh, there's no heavy oil here, though. That's from the old oil liquefaction system. So I'd have to run a heavy oil pipe all the way to this to take advantage of it. I don't think we'll be doing that. We do have a ton of petroleum here still. Uh, is that all connected to the main pipe system? I think so. Alright, could we maybe add a pump over here? Here. That's going to connect the cracking. I don't think it matters. To consume all of this, uh, all of this petroleum as a priority so we can get rid of all this eventually. Why is the Vidamolange in here. That seems rather strange. 
Uh, there's not too much of it. We could probably just get the bots to remove it. This is requesting Vitamelange, though. Oh, that was... That was there to put the Vitamelange that was in this network. Back into the rail network. But I don't think I even have a Vitamelange drop-off. Uh, here we go. Oh, it is, actually. Pick up. Um, alright, let's set this threshold to one stack, temporarily. This is probably the last load of Vitamelange to leave the main bus base. Okay, then. Also, I'm considering maybe... Maybe I shouldn't bother having big provide stack thresholds and instead just control it by the request thresholds. Or the other way around, sorry. Because in some cases I would like trains to pick up whatever's there. Uh, Vardigan Savelli, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a lot of fire. Oh, I forgot about our military spiders for a while there. They have a lot of rockets still. One of them took a scratch. That's fine. And let's get them to throw a surprise party for our neighbors over here. And I should probably get them to start clearing out polluted areas in different directions. I still haven't got any more. Oh, we're up to 2.6k. So I think it already processed all of that. All of those iridium ore fragments that were about to be delivered earlier. We're up to 7.1k again. It's kind of slow, but not that bad. Ultimately, the bottleneck is how much core mining we're doing on each planet for now. That's right, I was also going to finish upgrading the rest of these construction spiders. Um... Lubricant is accumulating here, oddly enough. It's, be it's because copper can't keep up with this. 25.35 copper plate per second. That is just barely too much for... Wait, no. It's a little bit... It's like 3 per second more than half a blue belt can keep up with. How much steel does this need? Uh, same as the copper, so putting it up there wouldn't help. I would have to, like, add a belt down there. We could do that. This would only help for a while until we run out of lubricant. Well, after that, we can just add more lubricant production, I suppose. This will be more than sufficient. And copper plate. That doesn't actually... Is, is this full? Okay, that's a lot of landfill. Um, 
I don't really feel like moving that, so... Oh. I was going to say this doesn't help, but actually it's fine, because it's a red belt going on to... That's actually a red belt. No wonder it's not reaching almost the end of this yet. Uh, anyway. Let's grab... some of this. So then we'll be bottlenecking on lubricant, which we've accumulated a bit of. Not too much, though. Can we move this RoboPort? Probably. And that's some more of these. Just a couple, I guess. That's already going to be powered. You'll need red inserters there, not blue. Oh. True. Which means... That's going to be a problem. Hmm. If I move this over... Does that still reach? Yep. I think we literally just need one machine to be able to get the copper from that belt. This is still a bit too much, actually. Uh, hmm. We could do it like this. That should do it. Okay. And we should see that belt eventually saturated again. Actually, that should be more than enough lube. That's way more than enough lube. And we've got 323,000 heavy oil to go through. Divided by 20. is 16,000 belt, but that ignores the productivity bonus there. So, I think we actually... We're actually going to be able to fill this. Nice. That is to say, we're not going to run out of heavy oil before we fill it. Right then. What are these doing here? I think I was just calculating a ratio or something. And then we did that over there. Anything else I should do on Navis while we wait?
about to think of anything right now. Let's get our spiders to do their thing. And a bit more of that. Upgrade builder spiders? Oh yes. Where did I park them? Here they are. Right then. Uh, apparently I'm not requesting my personal roboports right now. This one already has the right stuff. As soon as my roboports get here... Oh, I need to put them back into... Uh, into my armor as well. Did we get them? There we go. And here. Actually, it would have been simpler if I filled this out first. Oh, that's interesting. So, brought up my inventory, opened up the Power Armor Mark II, then opened up the Thruster Suit Mark II, pressed Tab again, and it went back to the Power Armor Mark II, and then back to here. Didn't realize you could do it that way. Um, I've got tab bound to both open and close inventory, if that's uh, confusing anybody. Alright, who else still has bad roboports? This one. Anybody else? Nope, I think they're good. I could make a start on uh, putting science in the rail block. We need six types of science, I believe. Automation science packs are still the same as they ever were. It's nice and easy. I, l I would like to have a row of them here if I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can fit all of that here. Where am I military? How many missiles you got left? Quite a lot. Well, some of you do. This is a pretty chunky base, so I'm going to micromanage it a little bit. Double base, what does it mean? And I think we can roll over the rest of this, more or less. Oh, they're actually taking damage already. That should be fine. And 
then we'll get them to return to base. I kind of want to increase the... I don't know if we have any here actually, but if we could get some rocket production in this uh, bot block right here, that might be good. Explosives, electronic circuit, iron plate. Are we delivering explosives here yet? I don't think we are. But we could easily arrange it. No, we've already got plenty of rocket production there. It's really no trouble to have them walk back that way. Do you have Biter Expansion turned on? Yes, indeed. Also, Oheo Sora, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see... Nice. Worked pretty well. And how much reach have they got? Quite a bit, but not that much. I should aim them at the middle of those. And apparently I myself have run out of rail already. Let's bring some over here. Uh, this never got resupplied. It needs to turn around. Right then. Spooders come this way, please. And train stop. Can't really see where I'm supposed to place it until we get this rail built. Let's add signals. And then as close as we can fit it to that plus one. And this one goes here. That should be the same. Good. Uh, all we need is... Copper plate and cog. Do we have cog in the rail block? I think we do. Yeah, we do. Quite a lot of it, actually. This can do four blue belts, although max consumption of cogs at this location is also very fast. But that's fine. So I think we'll just do another one of our, our combined stations. We may do it on both sides of the rail to get the maximum throughput. Wait. It's not technically called cog, is it? Uh, cog and copper in that order. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Read belt contents hold. Read hand contents hold. Gear equals zero. And on this side, cup plate equals zero. Uh, how do I 
want to do this. Probably just fill the whole thing with uh, assembly machines as much as we can. And if it's overkill, then good. Automation science pack. Beacons. Speed, of course. And... Uh, is our train ready yet? Looks like it is. Please come over here. So... How many of these can I fit, or should I fit? 4.75 per second. 3.6 in of each. If I multiply this out to 12, it'll use up one input belt. Um, I guess we should aim for 90. Oh, that's perfect. 25 of these uses two input belts. I don't think we're going to do it that way. Um... If I, if I have this on both sides of a train stop, that's going to be 90 per second for each resource. Um, if I do it, if I double that, we could do 180 for each resource. I don't think we can fit that many of these into this rail block. So it's probably just going to be as many of these as we can fit. Uh, let's bring that across. I haven't yet decided if... Uh, if we're going to have a shared input belt there, or if it's going to go back like this. We'll leave more room for now, that'll be easier. If we want to change it. And don't forget the outputs. I'll change the top ones when we're done, but this will be better for copy paste. Let's use satellite view, so we have vision everywhere, and this blueprint will disappear once we're done with it. I don't think we can fit another one there. Alright, how many is this? Uh, 35 times 8. It was 25 that we were looking at for 90 per second, wasn't it? 35 gives us 126. Um, so we would need more than one station to support it. What's our output? 166 per second. We're getting very close to four blue belts of output. Um, I don't suppose... I don't suppose we can fit this up here. No. No, and we're already cutting it close down here to have 
four belts of output. So I think we'll take what we've got, bring it up to the middle here, ish. Two, three, four. I would have thought this would be... Oh, it is. Okay. Spooters, stand here, please. And I should have got more rail from the train. Let's do that first. Excuse me. Perfect overkill? Yeah, it's not too bad. And... Ring stop. Goes... That's the wrong type. Uh, goes here. My bots are a little bit upset with me. Definitely won't be bottlenecked on red signs. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I would love it if I could fit it so it's perfectly for blue belts. Well, like, just under at least, but that's a little bit arbitrary, of course. How many output belts do we have? Uh, seven. That's not what I wanted to hear. Hmm. If it was eight, that would be lovely. Oh, wait, I know. Um, I need to get more pr pr prod modules. I think I just got rid of all of them. Yeah. That was a mistake. Um, what I might do is just remove all of the assembly machine mark threes for now from here. Because I want to see what it looks like. And these are all full and correct. So this uses only 18 per second. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, that's considerably less than a blue belt for those combined. Which means we can put these close together. Um, I'll move it all the way over to the side to start with. And then blueprint this. Snap to grid relative with width of 12. And we can fit 8. That's beautiful. I wouldn't say it's beautiful that there's exactly one tile spare over there, but that's okay. Uh, this is in the middle where I would want it, so I guess that'll do. Overkill in Factorio? What are you talking about? Yeah, there's no overkill, there's only open fire and I need to reload. Although, we will be needing to reload our spiders to get this build finished. I should probably make some more of them. I could follow them back and do that right now. Let's see how many... S well, it's a bit late, but... We've actually only got three remaining. 
because I've removed the request for portable RTGs temporarily. Um, because we really needed some stockpiled. We currently have 11, which is our limit that we're aiming for. Plus 4. Alright then. Uh, my bots are very, very upset with me. I'll give them a hug. There we go. I'm a little bit surprised that we can support these with just one belt between them. But that's nice. Uh, nine belts is not what I want to see, but we'll find a way. And let's check. How many beacons are here? 40. Multiply this by 40, and we get 144 per second, uh, which is significantly less than four blue belts of input. It's actually exceeds four blue belts of output. Fantastic. Uh, how many assembly machines is this? Oops. 320. Uh, seems I have to type it. Wait, I know. I think if I point at this and use the scroll wheel, no, it's the same. 39, uh, 310. 308. 300 is 178. Uh, where's the common factor with 8? Three hundred and four would be 38 beacons. There's no way to make that nice and neat, but we could just remove a couple from the sides here. 38 times all of this. That's fine, I suppose. So, let's remove these ones. And it's kind of hard to see what we're doing here, but these ones as well. Oh, that's not quite right. This is output. We'll deal with that in a minute. Where am I? Okay. I forgot the train brought a lot of beacons as well. Also, it would probably help our power situation if I had the maximum number of RTGs. Scooters are probably resupplied. Let's bring them back. Um, I definitely want to change these. Also, haven't gone and given it output insert as yet. Uh, I don't suppose I could 
Do it this way. Absolutely could. Except we need it all the way down here as well. Um, let's copy this, remove those. Snap to grid relative. Could have snapped a grid for the sides as well, but this is fine. Probably going to need more blue inserters. And assembly machines. Modules. So if we have eight outputs here, obviously merging it into four blue belts is not much of a problem. Although, I guess these ones wouldn't be... Uh, I'm either going to have to put the extra buildings, or do a big merge, I suspect. How many beacons is this? Nine? That's going to give us 42 per second. If I do the balanced loading and do it like that, it's going to be a problem. Um, on the other hand, if I do like an 8 to 4 merger, that's going to take up a lot of space. One, two, three, four. Wait. It is 8 outputs, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh... This would have to go here. And then... It actually requires a lot of space, as simple as it is. Actually, that should be fine, right? Like that. No, that merges four into one and then two. That's no good. Hold on. We don't need this layer. That's actually all it takes. Two four to two merges would work. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, And since one, two, three, four... We could put this merger over this way. And... 
so that would go here, and here, and here. And obviously that goes down there. That's what you have without the final row, yeah. Yeah, I was about to do it wrong, but then stumbled on the right way to do it. Um, so obviously that's going to be pretty straightforward. That goes there. This goes here. And here. And here. Simple. The only problem is if we're going to be relying on um, this on both sides, and if we're not going to do a giant merger. Um, then if a train is only, if we're only getting resources on this side, then we're not going to get full throughput, but I think we've got more than enough, um, copper and gear. So this was 38 beacons, right? Yep. Uh, 136 iron gear wheel per second. I don't think that even eats... I don't think that even consumes all of the surplus if we were consuming them all here. It does, but... We finished making these things a long time ago. And we could always add more. Right then. Uh, I seem to have actually run out of... Uh, productivity modules, including the ones... Why can't I delete this? There we go. Including the ones brought by the train. I'll ride the construction spider back. Because I don't want to forget to update it this time. That train can stay here for now. Are we actually missing one assembly machine? Oh, I see. Why did they not finish doing that? Why is this still here? There we go. Why does it not have productivity modules? It's fine. I suspect we have a lost bot or two. Uh, F5? I did not see them. Would it show if the bots are coming back to the spider? With that line. Oh! Here they are. Sneaky. Don't tell me it's because they can't get back in the spiders. No, it's not. Oh, it is for some of them. Uh, which spider are you trying to get back into? I'll just tidy up as much of this as I can. And I went too far.
All right, that'll get that sorted out. Uh, I suppose we should build as much rail as we can on the way back. How's our belt production going? Uh, we're actually only 4,000 away from filling this thing. Nice. Oh, um, should probably get rid of this rail right here. And this one. Where's our military spiders? I think they're returned to base. Looks like they're all resupplied. Yes. And let's clear out the pollution cloud up this way. I kind of wish rocket turrets were part of the vanilla game, just so that I could resupply the spiders wherever there's a wall. Without going to the extra trouble of bringing the rockets to the walls arbitrarily. Uh, Shrill, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They might get stuck on the water's edge. Well, if they do, I'll... Oh, they're definitely going to get stuck. Good point. Thanks for pointing it out. That should be pretty safe. And it looks like... I was going to say it looks like we're finally out of rail, but no. All right, one more of these, and then we'll head back to base. Oh, I think that's it. We actually did run out of rail now. Right then. Good timing, I suppose. And I think I will... Request a few more RoboPorts. Can this stack to 20? Um, that should be enough to make a few anyway. I haven't even used the Ardy trains in a while. I guess there's no real reason to. Are you going to get stuck there? Doesn't look like it. Hey, Immo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good day, Hacks. How's the space base looking? Uh, not much different from before, however... We do have almost a full cargo rocket of belt, so we'll be able to build 
a lot of it very soon. I wonder if there's a base over here. Actually, I can just cheat with the navigation satellite. Oh, the pollution cloud goes up there too. That shouldn't be surprising, I guess. So, I think definitely by the time we finish the red science build, um, we should have our belts by then, maybe? We do have these all going full speed consistently now. Lots of lubricant. 4.2 per second, that's not that much. We've got another 3,000 to go. Right, scooters. Scooters. Still got some stuff left over. Actually, I have to wait for some more personal robopilots. Um, so I want these to follow the white spider. Which I would much prefer to make construction, ha construction hazard orange, but it's not really possible. Unfortunately. Let's do... Do I have more on the way? 20. Fantastic. Look at those bots go. Uh, what's next? I think I'll just keep making more construction spiders until the network runs out of fancy roboports. Where are we making those? Oh, it's over here. We've got 12 remaining. Why is it taking so long for these to get here? Oh, it's because of all the stuff in my trash slots, I think. Well, not to mention how many jobs the... Um, spiders are causing. That should just about do it. Um, okay, that's... Maybe I'll wait a little while on making more construction spiders, because that is making a lot of bot jobs. Also... Oh, this one's already got a radar, as does this one. Fantastic. Forget to put one here ish. Uh, where are our military spiders? Still got plenty of ammo.
There goes some more erudite. Beautiful. How many have we got here? 2.6k. I think that means we've had some ingots dropped off here relatively recently. Judging by the shape of this, though, I don't think that's correct. Did I actually bring enough productivity modules? Looks like it. 180.58 per second. Beautiful. Let's add, or at least plan out our belts. And this one, obviously, is going to be a bit messier. Wait, what? Um, can I get you to come down here, please? Let's get ahead of ourselves a little bit and set up the output. Red Science Provider. Standard Pickup. And we're done. Um, we do want a balanced loader, however... Just like we did before. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I guess we could do it like this. And like this. Is that already connected? It is fantastic. It's not too bad, actually. All right. So we're going to have your typical negative average, and make all the green wire. Output from the combinator goes to the inserters. They also receive a positive signal for what's in their local chest. And then... Everything uh, greater than or equal to zero would be greater than or equal to the average. Wait, no, I want less than or equal to the average. And we'll bump it up by 100. So each inserter is allowed to be 100 ahead of the average. And that should allow it to go faster. How much science is that? Uh, it's going to be 180 per second. Which is four blue belts. And we've done the calculation. We can definitely support it from the input belts. Um, I guess we could... Does that look neater or no? When it's so short, it feels weird using an underground. Uh, 
How did I do this before? That's fine. And I guess this goes here. Cool. And all that's left is figuring out how these fit together. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nine input belts is not what I would like to see, but that's okay. Um, let's see. 16, 8. Each half only has to do less than nine, 68. Almost 70 out of 90 per second maximum. Mm. Uh, we're going to need the usual output. I keep having to do this, so I should really make a blueprint that's just this part. I guess that wasn't too difficult, though. Um, and we're going to need a left side output for this one. And the whole side only needs two blue belts. Oh, but it's two blue belts of each, and this is a half. So, yeah. This is 45 per second for each resource. So it's actually, like, four blue belts. Um... Almost 70 per second. It's not like we can just do three belts. Not that that would help. Yeah, no, that's fine. So I think this is going to go here. That actually is surprisingly easy. I feel like this would look better. Um, how much is this? Like three quarters of two blue belts. And that's most of two blue belts. Okay, I don't think it's like we have to merge all of these or anything. This can just go here. And this goes here. There isn't any reason to bring it all up. There's going to be a few tiles of quote-unquote wasted space regardless. Oh, except... Except I want these two belts to be able to support these three. Um, maybe a four to five balancer would just be better. We've got the space, I'm sure. Four to five. 
That's bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, it's significantly bigger than I th thought it would be. Hmm. Hello? You don't sound like a tyrant or a hacker. Uh, thank you, I guess. Welcome, welcome, three Aru. Uh, all right, we really don't need a four to five because the second half of these, which is a bit more than the first half, is still in is still less than two belts. So all we really need is a two to three, which requires some tricky circular stuff. I still haven't completely got my head around these. I guess we could fit it snug up there, but there's no reason, there's no need to. Um, so that goes there, that goes there. Let's just double check. It's going to keep everything on the same side of the belt, right? Yeah, I think it is. You're welcome. You sound relaxed. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing too bad, thanks. And we're going to merge this from the other side. Um, okay. That goes there. That goes there. We'll add some undergrounds. I suppose this part could have been anywhere, actually. That's too close for undergrounds, really. That's kind of too close. I don't suppose there's a way to make this look neat. Not really. Alright, I think that'll do it. And we're going to need the same thing on the other side. This needs to go under here. Probably need to bring that over as far as possible. So, and then this goes here. I don't suppose it's gonna line up exactly, except for the middle part. This part needs to change. I could. Do it a bit closer to the middle on this side. Oh, I could do that here as well. This one... We need that underground there anyway. That's fine. These could be further to the left. But I think we'll just go with this consistent spacing. So if that goes there... Bring those down like this. And... One little change. And I think that's it. Uh, let's go grab some more belt.
I'm quite liking the look of that, actually. That doesn't look quite right. How about this side? That's fine. Add some substations. Uh, we do need them on both sides. I guess that's neat as it's going to get. And... I can't keep it consistent if I do it that way. Uh, that's cool, except for this crisscross nonsense right here. Alright, we're gonna have to break out the big guns to tidy this up. Move that, move that, add that, and that looks pretty good. Seems good. Right, I think we're just about ready to summon some trains. Let's name the station... Oops, that's not what I was looking for. Gear and copper plate requester. Standard drop-off. And we're requesting 16k of each. And then all we need to do is... Uh, well, first we need to connect these chests. Let's copy that from here. And then, LTN knows what we've got. It's a little bit neater if you connect it on the right side. And that'll be that. Time to switch it on, by which I mean connect it like so. And there should be a train or two coming right about. Drum roll. Further drum roll. Now. I do notice that they both activated at almost the same time. Even though there was definitely a couple of seconds between my adding this combinator and this one. No doubt LTN checks for things that need to be done in waves. So I noticed this time we haven't left that little gap of rail, so the trains should be on the way. Seems like they're not having any trouble this time. And they should be loaded in a second. Heading two. And heading two. Fantastic. And once one of them gets here... It'll take at least two trips before we get started making... Well, actually... If the other one is bringing copper to the other side, I guess we'll get uh, the 40 machines in the middle to be active at least. And here they come. Nice. 
but yeah, in a few seconds there should be a delivery for copper on this side, vice versa over here once the train leaves. Any second now, there we go. Uh, oh, I see. Is this our, our good train? Oh, you're going... Is it doubling down on copper on the left? No, I don't think so. It just looked like... Yeah, I'm, I just got confused. Right then. And there's the cog train on the way. I know it's just red science, but I'm a little excited to see this thing going full speed. It did turn out to be a very neat build. Uh, you can go home, I suppose. And we need to add some signals over here. And I forgot to... Wait, no I didn't. Oh. Oh, that's, uh... That's not great for the even loading. Because we've just had the one row... Well, effectively two outputs. And we're not merging them all, we're kind of counting on all of these being equal. Because there's nothing in these chests, the average is all... out of whack. It'll sort itself out pretty soon, though, it looks like. There we go. And we should see the copper and iron cogs reach the end of the belts relatively soon. We do have a significant uh, surplus of belt input here. 136 per second each. Um, but that's across eight. It's four belts per resource which is 180. So yeah, it's not taking that long uh, for the resources to reach the end of the belt. Fantastic. And it would help if I didn't miss that one little bit of belt. Now all of these are going to stop relatively quickly once this... Uh... What? Oh. Uh, it would also help if I didn't mess this part up. Let's do it like this. And can I turn you around for a moment, please? There we go. So how much have we got already? 10k? That did not take long. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Although it's uncommon for a build to go so smoothly. This is five second crafting time. Green science is ten seconds. Oh, but it spits out two. Oh, so it's the exact same speed as uh, red science, except that the inputs are 2 and 1, as opposed to 1 and 1. So it's we're not going to be able to copy-paste this build. That's unfortunate. Um...
I'm just trying to think of a way to fit double the input in the same space. I don't know if it can be done or not. If we were to do some belt weaving and that's not going to cut it like that, there would be room for in extra inputs on this side, but not this side. If I have to make it any wider, we're not going to fit this as it is. We just need half a belt more. Oh, we're also going to need like more throughput from the stations to begin with. Weaving red and blue belt? Maybe. It depends how much we need. Um... Between two of these, oh, it's only 18 per second for the, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. The inserters will only be 18 per second between 40 machines like this. And we're going to need double that for... Uh, double that for the transport belt, but that's okay. We can do the transport belt on blue, inserters on red, and yeah. But then the only question is how we fit all of that input uh, from the stations. I don't know if we can. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can. Um, so it's going to need... Two hundred and seventy three blue belt per second and a hundred and thirty six inserters. Uh not blue belt, uh yellow belt, but still. Two hundred and two hundred and seventy three belt per second plus a hundred and thirty six inserters. Um which is Probably six, if not more than six, blue belts of input for the uh, belt. And three belts. Six and three. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to not go as crazy with the green signs. I don't know what it's called. Look at how it outputs red circuits. This timestamp. Uh, Shyway, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry the bot got you. What about the C shape method for output? I don't think output's the problem, um, but I can certainly have a look. Oh, I see. So you're using the, the same pair of tiles for input and output. Yeah, that, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, anyway, I think I've procrastinated uh, jumping into orbit for long enough. We should have all of the belts. We do. Uh, I thought I was requesting a bunch of cargo landing pads. 
Yeah. Let's remove those for now. And we did actually get our 44k uh, space belt. Let's just add a little bit more. And I'll carry the um, cargo landing pads myself. How many was it? 30? Uh, let's see. 25. And yeah, let's jump into space and get building the main bus. What am I going to forget this time? Might be a good idea to take a spider up there. This one's already not set to follow the leader, so... I think we'll get this one. And then I'll be able to... Uh, actually, let's get a handful of them. And then I'll be able to uh, have the spiders build the base. In fact, I don't... Oh, wait. Can they jump across the void or no? Well, it'll be easy to add some scaffolding if they can't, but I'm curious to see that. I'm guessing they just can't do it. If they do a cute little jump and jetpack-like thing, um, I will be all about that. I've got some bots following me. They're not my bots. It's fine. Okay. Let's make it four. Missing personal robopod. Well, I'll get the bots to bring the stuff to them anyway. Do I have robopods on the way? Yes, good. Maybe I should have waited for them before queuing up all those bot orders. Why do we suddenly have so much ice being requested? I should probably set up something in the rail network uh, for supplying ice. Even though it would probably take a very small build to support it. In fact, I'm sure this by itself is more than enough. Uh, I could add it to this block over here. What's our input? Cryonite rod and sulfuric acid and water. Cryonite rod, sulfuric acid and water. Bad Touch Hater. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bots are throwing a party, so they need the ice. Fair enough. Uh, did we start send... Oh, oh, oh. Wait, did I put ice in a rocket or no? I don't think I did. Yeah, we're... That's the old one. Wait, no it isn't. So I really don't know where... That sudden massive demand for ice came from. And 
course now they're all equipped. Actually, I'll use the nav set to make some temporary remotes for them. Oops, don't mean to keep turning it on and off. Maybe I should leave them where the bots can resupply them relatively easy first, but I don't want to have to remember to do this. So I'll just put I'll just put those in my inventory before I go to space. Bad touch hater, thank you for the follow. Vyasha Slave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whoops. Don't need any regular belt in space. This reminds me I really need to play with that um uh that one mod. Come to think of it, why did I send the spiders over there if I was going to... I thought I was going to put them in the rocket, but A, that's the wrong, wrong rocket. And B, I'm going to put them in my inventory anyway, because this rocket is full. I suppose in the meantime... I was going to set... Uh... set up some of these spiders, but that's just going to create more bot jobs. I could go ahead and start doing a better job setting the logistic requests for these ones. It's going to be a tedious process. So I'm going to do it bit by bit, and quite a lot of it off stream probably. But while well, we have to wait anyway. Just gonna start by setting requests for everything in order. One thing that's very unhelpful about this is technology that you haven't unlocked yet isn't here. Uh, sure, let's start with blue belt. 200. Exactly. No space belt. I kind of would like them to carry a little bit of yellow and blue, actually. I mean, yellow and red. Just one stack. One stack to two for belt should be more than enough. Wait, that's wrong. There's probably a mod for that. Yeah, I've been meaning to try it. Are these guys supplied? Not really. Kind of. They're actually pretty full. Uh, don't need burners often enough to justify that. We'll just do one stack for most things and it'll be volume of spiders that makes up for it. Don't need space belt. Oh, I probably didn't need to put regular belt in those four spiders either. Uh, I don't think I want to bother giving them all of the long belts either. Long pipes. Uh, 
Uh, we do want some storage tanks, though. No crappy power poles. Maybe some mediums. Although I hate to dedicate one stack from each spider to that. A uh, couple of stacks of rail. Don't need any of these. Did I set that right? Yep. I doubt we'll be picking up any cars or tanks, but on the off chance that we do, please throw them back into the robo network. You're going to need a hundred bots to support your robo ports. Lights, why not? One stack of each of these. Don't bother with crafting combinators or recipe combinators. I can carry those myself. We're not going to bother with programmable speakers. That's a... No, we don't... Uh, we don't build these often enough to have the spiders follow uh, carry them. If I'm going to build concrete or use landfill, it's going to be dedicated spiders for that because it is very uh, inventory space intensive. What's this? Damaged spaceship console. Hmm. All right, that'll do for now. Um, let's check on these ones. Almost done, I think. I just realized it's not like I can put them in my inventory when they're full of stuff. Whoops. Let's turn off your requests. I'm going to want to change them anyway, since they're want to, going to want to be re uh, requesting a space belt. Also turn off my requests for the moment. Unfortunately, I can't get an inserter to take stuff away from the spiders or anything. Alright, so that's one. suppose it's easier if I just do it this way. Don't throw away the power armor. Wait. It is true that I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't pick up the spider while it's got stuff in it. Unless I can fit it all in my inventory. Also, let's pick you up.
This was a little bit poor planning. Just a tad. What? Oh no, you're kidding me. No, please stop. No, why didn't I think of that? Okay. Pick you up. And one to go. Nice. Uh, do I really need all the stuff that's usually in my logistic requests in space? I don't really see the point of waiting for more. Let's just go. So this is aimed at Maria landing pad. That's no good. Uh, we need Nervous orbit. That's not very specific. And now this orbit landing pad, let's just double check that's the right one. Good. And away we go, I think. Really struggling to get lift off there. Uh oh. Survive a hit of 500 damage or more. Wait. Did that just do what I thought it did? Did the train collide with me while the rocket was taking me north? Is that what happened? I have a suspicion that's what happened. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Instant replay? Uh, unfortunately I haven't set that up just yet. Can, can I make a clip? Start replay buffer. I think I would have had to click that in advance. All those resources in the rocket? Uh, what about them? We got them. That's all good. Uh, we are going to want to... Get our spiders to request much belt. Oh, I just remembered we've got hardly any logistic bots here as well. Oh, that's fine. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, why? It... Oh, I did not realize how full my trash slots were. Rip. Anyway, let's give you some belt. And some other random junk, apparently. And... See what happens when we try to send the spider down here. Seems like a bug for the mud maker you can train collide while ascending with the rocket yeah i don't know how they oh yep that's kind of what i was expecting uh i was gonna say it really depends on what a game will let you do mud wise it's uh it may not be possible for 
to fix that with a mod. Or it may be trivial. I suppose you could always make the player immortal while they're in the cargo rocket. There's your permit. Uh, I do see the link though, let's see. Nice, thank you. It was, I'm pretty sure it was the train. <laughs> nice. Just clipping it as well. Yes. Alright. Um, I'm going to need some scaffolding also. Just a hundred, probably enough. Uh, I should probably make... Uh, why did I bring all this? I should probably make a spider from remote for this area. I'm going to be giving them orders to go back and forth very often. Let's get you to follow you. To follow you. And... Why does it make two when I do that? Follow you. And you go down here, please. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> that was so weird. Poor spiders. Didn't Spidertrons need two tiles width to walk on? Uh, apparently not. Also, I'm very surprised that was... I guess I shouldn't be surprised that was already a hundred uh, scaffolding. Let's drop some stuff and make some room in our inventory. Especially the uh, cargo landing pads. You can't recycle cargo rocket sections, can you? Um, what? Capsule. Space capsule. How do I swap this? Oh, there it is. Alright, space capsule scrapping. Let's search for scrapping. That's weird. I could have sworn it said S C R A P P I N G. I guess it's only the components that I search for. Hmm. Also it's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I was just thinking about if it would be easier to scrap the cargo rocket sections and capsules that come from launching stuff up here, rather than accumulating them all and eventually sending them back. Didn't spider... Oh yeah, one way to find out, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's one tile wide. Uh, and they are indeed walking along it. It doesn't really surprise me considering what I've seen them do. Uh, if you... I don't know if I still have a blueprint for it, but if you put landfill just like... Something like ten tiles apart... They'll absolutely walk across that. 
In fact, I could just remove most of these pieces of scaffolding to make a bridge for them. The island pattern, yes. I think I didn't bring enough. 23. I thought I was carrying 25. Or was there not enough room and then I changed it? Oh well. It's going to take a minute before we're ready to like finish this base. I wonder if I could... I could take the concrete and steel... We only need five more of these. I've got 50 radar. I could take the concrete and steel from the sushi system that's fed by cannons. And I could handcraft these up here, no problem. I could also probably turn all the blue belt that I accidentally brought up here into space belt. No, it... It's actually copper, steel, and stuff directly. You don't upgrade blue belt into it. Four megawatt per crafting time. Ouch. Four, oh, four, mi four minutes? I thought it was 20 seconds. What are we talking about? Four minute per item crafting time. Huh? Anyway, I've emptied my inventory of this for the moment. Total raw. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that includes all the iron and copper and steel and everything, right? Also, hello delay. Hello delay, my old friend. Uh, let's grab a bit more scaffolding this time. And... I think we'll change the color of the leader a little bit. I like going with something different up here. Although white would work pretty well for the space, just the theme of things in general. Uh, how about blue? All right, blue. Could you please come back here for a minute? Good. Also, I guess it's good I accidentally brought some turrets. How are we doing building this stuff? Big electric motors. Um, I don't know if we have anything left in terms of making those without making another production chain. I th think we actually, oops, map goes here, then press N. Did we have, I don't think so. For a second I thought big electric motors would be something we're sending up here. But apparently not. All right, what does it take to make a few? Uh, big electric motor, green circuit, small electric, steel, and lubricant. I think 
I've got the logistic network making small electric. And we've got green circuit, we've got steel, lubricant is here. So we can just do that pretty straightforward. Quest a chest. Should be a bot bringing the assembly machine. Any second now. There it is. Uh, helps if you set the recipe first. And... Apparently this is not... You're kidding me. Um... I seem to have run out of... How you say... Where's the space capsule? Uh, where's the space capsule? Please. Let's see for the spiders. Please move out of the way. Okay, we're actually just gonna have to click on these. There it is. Um, where did it go? Here? Right. Apparently, I am missing some life support. Where is it? I know I have a request for it, but I don't know if there's any left up here. There should be a whole stockpile somewhere. There it is. Okay. I think I would like to make sure that's in the logistic network. So I don't have this happen again. Life support. Am I not requesting it? I thought I had. I was sure I had a request for this. Oh, there it is. Life support canister on the way zero. Pick up two. There we go. Thank you very much. Why have we got 48 impressive strength data here? Not sure how that happened. Let's go put it where it belongs. Also, this whole thing seems to have stopped. I wonder why it has stopped. There's no stone. Why is there no stone? We're definitely requesting it. There's stone here, but this whole thing got stuck somehow. If copper plate equals zero... Oh, this is full. How did that happen? Uh... Copper plate 
less than 10k. How much copper plate do we have? 11k. I didn't think an extra thousand was... Oh. I think I understand. Yeah, it's not that we came anywhere near filling this up. It's that this loading system wasn't as good as it should be. I'm surprised it took so long for it to break, though, if it had this vulnerability. Also, nothing should be sending here unless the chests are empty, so it must have sent a lot of stuff all at once. Alright, well, that'll get that system going again. Um, let's set the requests for our spiders. Actually, not before I remember to do this. Uh, and it seems we got what we need here as well. Fantastic. Rod modules can't be used in space, unfortunate. Let's limit big electric to 50. And it's, it takes 40 just for one mechanical facility. And we need 30 more. Uh, I think we'll call a truce on making mechanical facilities for a minute. Let's get a pulse generator here. Connect that over here. Constant combinator. What are we looking for? 30 more mechanical facilities. How many did we make already? Only five. That's not that great. Um, uh, we need at least four here. At least one here. And I th think that's it. Why am I dying again? Did we already go through a stack of... A stack of life support? Let's get some more life support systems here. 12 hours. That should be sufficient. Right, what was I doing? Um, medical facility. Let's, I don't know how many of these we've made already, but let's just make another five. Uh, did it not work? Oh, this is a negative. We need to change how this pulse generator works. H less than zero. That should do it. And it did not. Why? Is it because of the anything greater than zero here? I don't think so. If it's outputting everything input count consistently, the condition shouldn't matter that much if, if it's being met every tick. So we pulse in, we put in negative 25 to these two at the same time. One tick later, we multiply by negative one, so it outputs 25. So that what's coming to here is zero. While this is less than zero, output everything, output the input count. That should work. I 
30 mechanical facilities. Oh, it worked this time. What was different? I seriously don't know what I did differently there. That's a little weird. Just going to remove that for now. I'll leave the pulse generator there for later. Uh, but yeah, once we make a few more mechanical facilities, we'll stop. Oh, this is a requester chest. There's your problem. Pick up two. Fantastic. Uh, we're back down to 50 logistic bots because of the bot attrition. Right then, that's a little slow, let's speed it up. May as well, since we don't have uh, productivity bonuses. And then I want to set the requests on these spiders a little better. Like, none of these please. I should have set those to zero. Don't need chemical plants either. get rid of things that can't be placed in space first. Actually, start with this. That's a fine color. Zero, 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 so on. No pipe. These are fine. Not going to worry about rail up here. Those are fine. I, I'm really surprised I had them carrying crafting combinators, actually. I'm curious, what time zone are you living in? Uh, GMT plus 10. East Coast Australia. Oh, is that where a bunch of turrets just went? You can carry the beacons. That's fine. Right. Space belt. And a couple of stacks of these. Pipe. And one stack of each of these. It's fine. And I don't know if there's anything else that I want them to carry at this point. Darker blue one can be the leader. Landfill? 
Uh, I don't think you can use landfill. But do you mean the scaffolding? That might be a good idea, except we have finished placing the scaffolding here for now. I'll go build that bridge for them while I wait for the bots to resupply them a little more. Space landfill. <laughs> Space fill? Uh, how about I just rift like this? And the bots can do their thing. We're still struggling. There's just not enough logistic bots for everything I've set the bots to do here. Tahan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and it looks like we are done. While we're waiting for the spiders to get loaded up, I'll grab some uh, space belt. Bots are actually already recharged. Uh, grab some space belt and place some of that myself. Although at this point we could definitely stand to fire and forget for a while and then just bring the spiders over to build some stuff. Right, over to the main bus. And then... Uh, I should have thought of this first, but I should take a bunch of that stuff over there manually. Just so it gets... a bunch of it gets built faster. I don't know how many other buildings need big electric motors as well. We could arrange a rocket to send some up. You know what? Why not? Oh, this isn't ready yet? That's weird. Why do we have no space capsules? Um, I don't recall... Unfortunately, Deconstruction Planner won't liberate these particular space capsules. I think I have to physically be there to pick those up. Uh, but I could have sworn I had... Oh, here it is. Not enough LDS. That's a little bit of a shock. Uh, especially considering the LDS belt is completely saturated. Almost completely saturated. Uh, we're making them. But you know what would be better? Is... What? There we go. Where are our construction spiders? Let's bring some LDS into the logistic network. We'll just do a little temporary build for this because... Uh, I don't really want to bother with the logic to make it work. I haven't actually had any problems with the LDS supply in the main base. 
for a long, 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 long time. Or well, pretty much ever, actually. Um, but yeah. Construction spiders over here, please. And then... Actually, I know how I can set this up. Super easy. Uh, pick up station light. No, that's... Let's just do it this way. Standard drop-off. Add some substations. Oh. Wait, what? That goes to there. When? There's five of them. I was gonna say, since when does it take more than two substations? to cover all of these 24 inserters. All right. Surely I should use filters here. Hello everyone, a uh, Simuton, welcome, welcome, just stopped by on my lunch break, seems good. Low density structures, and we'll just, oops, uh, we'll just set this so that if there's any LDS here, it won't send another train. LDS requester right so with the stack th with the stack threshold of 160 and we're only asking for 160 stacks this should have to be empty before it sends another train, right? Is it critical that you missed to wire up a chest on the upper block? Wire up a chest on the upper block. Did I? Or are we talking about something else? No path. Probably signaling. Yep, there we go. Uh, spiders. Please come over here. The fourth from the top. Oh, it is. T good catch. Thank you. Is it the same down here? No. I didn't copy-paste it. Uh, this is a little bit confusing. I think that's right. Right, there's our copious amounts of LDS. And I think they're taking them back to the main bus as well, because it must have taken a long time to go through the storage that we had. We, we must have been running a deficit for quite a while here. 
probably it's because we're still running glass off of this. I kind of meant to replace that with a train stop a long time ago, but there isn't really a good spot to do it. No big deal. Nothing spectacular, just nuggets, fish, and potatoes from fridge into oven. Sounds fine to me. Alright, how are our spiders looking up here? They've all got some space belt. Some of them not so much because they're full of random stuff. I did set the requests for all of them. Yes, good. Uh, let's grab the remote. And... Send you down... Here somewhere. I'm sure that'll be enough. Uh, I've still got plenty of belt, but my bots are very sad. Maybe I should carry a capsule with me so I could swap this out and recharge. Actually, something I could do is pay a little bit of health in order to save some time here. Might not be spectacular, but surely is fulfilling. Yes. Go, bots, go. Why do I only have two med packs on me? That seems pretty stra- Oh, I think I remember why. Alright, I think that's about enough of that. Group hug with the butts. And don't tell me these guys don't have construction bots. Oh, I'm of I'm of suboptimal intelligence. How many do you have? Hard to say because they're in motion. Do all of them at least have some bots? Can I tell? How can I tell? I'm gonna have to wait till the bots are not in motion anymore. I'm actually surprised any of them have construction bots. I had to empty their inventory. I didn't think to take more bots with me. And I brought them up here. I didn't think we had construction bots, like, in the logistic network over here. But apparently that's a thing. Still working on those mechanical facilities. Four to go, that's a lot. We just had another burst of activity from my bots. And back they are to be very upset about power. Let's turn off my robot port for now. Uh, I think the Spidertrons are having similar issues with their batteries, maybe? No. Alright, let's go back and help with those mechanical facilities. Almost done on thermal radiating efficiency. 
Did we get some stone over here? This part's empty of stone. We are requesting stone. Did I perhaps get rid of... No, I'm pretty sure it's over here. There's only 40 stone here. I think we've got another problem with a false count of stone on the belt. And considering we haven't had any power issues for quite a long time, I don't know why that would be. Uh, something I did come to the conclusion though of though. I wonder if there's an inserter in here somewhere that, um, well, no, it'd have to be one for each resource. I was going to say taking from the belt without counting it. Um, but I do have something here to fix it. We just pulsed a uh, negative two stone onto the counter for the sushi belt to reset it to zero. So we should see stone being picked up here and we're sending it to Obd again. I really don't know why... My only hypothesis as to why we ended up with incorrect counts uh, for a few items on this belt was that we had a power problem at one point. But, uh... Yeah, if this is setting filters blacklist and it's receiving a signal for what not to put on the belt. Also, I wonder what resource is missing here. It's probably vulcanite blocks. Nope, they're over here. Uh, before I get sidetracked, I guess if you lost the signal from this, you would get extra items put onto the belt. But, and, and it wouldn't count them. But that should result in extra items on the belt, not an incorrect high count of items on the belt. So if anything, it should gradually approach the point of having too many items on the sushi belt and eventually stop. But we're having the opposite problem. Really not sure what that could be. It thinks there's... Where can I get a look at this? It thinks there's 20 stone on the belt right now. But I haven't seen this change from 18 for a while. Oh, there is stone on the belt. Okay, I think it's working. Uh, anyway, I shouldn't really be worried about stone right now. Um, although it is part of science. Let's bring some circuits over here. And steel. And little blue engines. Steel is here. Uh, I don't think I've got that many small electric motors handy. We do have a stack here, so the bots are really not keeping up. That makes 25 big electrics. Did 
Didn't I just give a bunch of big electric motors to this? Or did they get used up for one of those recipes? It's 40 big electric motors for each one, so maybe. that going for a while. One of these every three seconds or so. That means uh, two minutes for each mechanical facility. I'm not liking the sound of that very much. I can't handcraft these or anything, though. Well, I guess it'll have to do. Where did my small electric motors go? So we got 13... Yeah, this is not going to get done quickly. Well, just two to go after this one. How are our spiders doing? You have 34 construction bots. You have six. Six. And 50. Okay. How many construction bots we got here? 39, that's not a whole lot. Well, I knew I was going to forget something coming to space, but uh, this is suboptimal. Where are our spiders? Wait, did I... There we are. Some of you have already finished. Actually, now I can't see how many bots each one of these has. Let's get you all up to one stack if we can, which we can't. Uh, okay, four and 50. Okay, most of them have a full stack. That's something at least. And... Uh, time for them to go get some more stuff. Or, are they, they've already got some, right? Let's try and keep it in a nice straight line for now. And my bots are not even remotely recharged. Why don't you build the starship? Uh, that's a bit far off yet. I need Astronomic Science Pack 3 to even get started on that. Hey, Kingfnob. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Mind Mousecraft. Good to see you again as well. Starships are fun. Yeah, I, I don't want to get it spoiled, but what I have seen looks interesting. Two of these to go. That's uh, 71 big electric motors. That's a lot. Iron plate, you say. I guess we could double the logistic bot count temporarily. 
They will die from bot attrition, but I would rather speed this up for now. Your love and passion for circuits will be at home in a starship? Yeah, that's what I've heard. It sounds very interesting. Um, I feel a bit silly for making this a purple provider. Also, how did we end up with three of these in here? The logistic bots really... Uh, really aren't keeping up anymore. That's a lot of recycling facilities. Biochemical... Uh, what else? That'll do for now. I'll go take this to be placed by the bots. Why is there so much Iridium plate in the logistic network? Iridium plate. Roboport on. Uh, I thought these were recycling facilities. Oh, I got rid of my bots. A derp. Okay. Do I... If I run down this way, is that going to place in the right way? No, I don't think that did. So I just need to click all of these individually. Wait, why is there no recipe? Oh, there is. It's just hard to see. There's no bot requests for this one, though. That's kind of weird. Can we get just a little bit of power over here so everything stops flashing? That one doesn't have a... Recipe. So that one does. And that one does. And that one does. And that one does. What's going on here? Are we good? On this side? I think it would be easier if I just do it like this and then correct the mistakes. Whoops. Uh... What? Let's start from the top. This goes here. Doesn't copy the direction. 
So every second one of these, it looks like, doesn't have the... Recipe set. There we go. Then we need decontamination facilities. There's probably somewhere else we need recycling facilities. Here it is. And this one doesn't matter with the orientation. Just need to make sure we've got the broken data card recipe. Seems okay. Uh, how many other recycling? That's a lot of icons to look at. Better to just look over it. I don't know why, but... I seem to have ended up with way more recycling facilities than I meant to. Maybe it was a typo when I ordered the automatic system to build a bunch of buildings. Uh, let's see. Probably gone by now. 35 recycling facilities. That's the same as mechanical facilities. Nope, this does say there's 35 recycling facilities there. But... I thought I just placed them all. Um... Did we not finish the blueprint? I guess we could place that again. Oh, that was good and quick. There we go. Is there a gap somewhere that's been filled in that I didn't notice before? Doesn't seem like it. How many is this? 26 plus 9. It is 35. Did I... But I have... Oh, I have one left, somehow. Alright, never mind. Silly me. Let's get our spooters. Uh, let's get our spooters. To go somewhere else. Ninety nine per cent on the research. Yes, maybe to the stream. A Rorosaur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, seems we've got... Is it one more big electric motor to go? It is. We just need a few... Small electric... Oh, there we go. A yoink. And we're finally onto something else. And it needs big electric motors. <laughs> oh no. I think we should send some big electric motors. Um, 
by rocket. This thing's working now. Glad I caught it. We don't need more belt, I don't think. Uh, let's change that to... 25,000 big electric motors. How many do we have in storage, actually? Probably not that. Big electric... Yeah, this is what I really wished I'd put on the main bus. Um... We could get them from the rail network. That seems like a good idea, considering we've got 57k. Uh, we could add this over here. Once the bots have placed it, we'll just add some wiring. Actually, I can make a request for these now. Please place this chest. Or this one, I guess. The train's gonna run over the wire. Big electric motor. And there we go. I might bump this up to... Uh, we can definitely... We can get that over... The 25k. It can fit 7.2 train loads in 24 chests. And here come our big electric motors now. I might just set this so that we can have more than one train coming so it gets done faster. It's going to be a lot of bot jobs as well. Are we... that's the wrong one. I forgot to switch this on. Alright, so the bots are going to start bringing big electric motors here. As soon as it's full, maybe before that, we'll launch it into space. I wonder how many big electric... 4,000 we've already got in storage. That's not because this arrived, it is. Wait, I thought... Did they already pick up 4,000 or so motors? Because it should be 8,000 in a train load. It's going to cause some bot haloing, to be sure. I think we need more roboports right about here. Uh, luckily, construction bots and logistic bots have a separation of uh, labor. So those should get placed fairly quickly. There we go. A few more might be a good idea. And here as well. Right, we've already got a fifth of our target in the cargo rocket. 
Fantastic. I guess it helps that the stack size is relatively small. Right. What should I do while we wait for that? We're now missing cosmic water. What? Oh, it has to come from here. Uh, I think we can fix that. That should have been here in the first place. Whoops. Still, I wonder why... Oh, of course. That was a bit silly of me. Anyway, this is fine. Could replace this with a seven. Hey, we got our research done. Finally. Uh, I wonder what, if anything, we should bother to research while we're still in the sushi belt. We've just used up all the astronomic science perks, but it seems we have a bunch of material and biological science saved up. Um, we could make a start on Productivity 5, I guess. We could make a very small start on Mining Productivity. That's not going to happen until we do the main bus base. I th think that's it. There's not a whole lot we can do without energy science right now, so... Uh, productivity 5 it is. And that's actually... Well, for now it's going pretty fast. We'll see how much science we had accumulated. What is this doing here? I don't know, but it's probably fine. Uh, I might just send the rocket as it is. It's going to take a while otherwise. And this should... I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be enough to build the buildings that we need, right? And away we go. Never mind all the bots flying above it. And here come our... Uh... Hello? Nervous Orbit Landing Pad 9... I have a sneaking suspicion uh, wh Where did our rocket go? I Genuinely have no idea where, 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 I thought Navis Orbit Landing Pad, this was the only one with this name, but I guess it's the default name, so these ones have it as well. But all of... Oh, I found it. I was going to say all of them are empty. That turned out to be a lie, luckily. Alright. Phew! 
let's go pick up quite a lot of... Oh, we finished... We finished the prod research already. That's not too bad. We could definitely unlock material science too. Might even get that one shot as well. And make as many of these as I can carry. Hopefully that's enough. Gonna have to find some place to put those in a bit. Right. And I suppose we'll do some passive providers. That's actually all we need. Material Science 2 is ready. Don't know what else I can research with what we've still got. A Xeno Progression Simulation. It only takes 50 of each type. We're going to bottleneck on Astronomic Science Packs for now, but I think. Or is it Material? Because there was no stone. Also, that's a lot of blank data cards. Uh, I suspect somewhere I am putting those onto the belt with no condition. Blank data card less than a hundred. That is definitely not the case. Uh, for some reason, the sushi belt thinks we've got negative 34,000 blank data cards. That could be a problem. But that will be... Where are you going with... Okay, whatever. Now we're out of fast inserters. Anyway, that'll be a problem for another day. For now, we'll give it a little save. And see who else is streaming Factorio today. Nope. Nope. New factory, new creed. Who is this? Oh, K2 plus SE. Oh, it's a uh, German. Uh, German wall gamers, 1k SPM trains and outposts. Why not? I'm greedy viewer. Okay, it's fine by me. But for now, I'm gonna need to take a break. Everyone speaks English for 70 viewers. <laughs> I mean. I can't see all the tags, I don't think, because last time I was looking for the for the tags and I accidentally did a Russian stream. Anyway, um, thank you for the stream. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Simutan. And let's drop in on Log Gamers today. Thank you very much for the follow. Widas uh, Kunagi. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means let me know. And away we go.